What's up guys, Nathan here. I think you're really gonna like this video because I'm gonna talk about something that a lot of young people have problems with. Something that I have problems with, something that I still have problems with, but I've come across some new information from a book I read just a few weeks ago that can that is kind of helping me in developing this thing and I hope it helps you too. So stay tuned for what I'm gonna talk about today. By helping me, I mean that it is allowed me to look at things from a different perspective. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about developing your passion. How do you determine and how do you develop your passions? Your passion is something that you love to do, something that you can literally do for hours on end without taking any breaks. And a lot of people, most people actually, would hope that their passion directly aligns with their career or what they get paid to do. Because as a famous person once said, if you do what you love, you will feel like you've never worked a day in your life. I'm paraphrasing a little bit because I can't think of the exact words, but it goes something like that. If you can figure out what you love and figure out how to get paid for that, that is probably the best thing you can do. So how do I do this? And where did I get this information from? Well, I got it from a book called Grit, The Power of Persistence and Passion. This is written by a girl named Angela Duckworth, who basically did research on grit. So if you're like me and are kind of lost in life and trying to figure out exactly what you're trying to do, this book will really help, one, motivate you to continue to press on, and two, kind of help you to look at different ways on how to develop passion. So what is one thing she says? She says, look at your childhood. What did you most like doing when you were younger? Because that's when passions first are developed. What interests you as a child? Did you like painting? Did you like taking pictures and photography? Did you like sports? What did you like? And then from that, kind of try to develop that into a passion because if you liked it as a child, it was most likely out of interest and not out of something that you were supposed to do or were told to do. And once you figure out what that is, try to develop that into something else where it can become a passion because passions don't happen overnight. They happen over time as we get better and better at something. If you try to learn the guitar, it's gonna be very difficult at first and a lot of people will get frustrated and quit. But if you stick with it eventually and get good at it, you will begin to like it because you get good at it. So this is kind of the gray area that a lot of people don't talk about with respect to passion. Passion is something that you develop. There's gonna be good days and bad days, but it takes you developing it and developing your passion instead of waking up one day and say, tomorrow I'm gonna to be a doctor. No, it takes time. So if you can figure out what you're interested in, and it doesn't have to be what your childhood interests are. It could be an interest right now. Figure out what you're interested in and develop that. Try to pursue it more and work at it more. Deliberate practice, try to get better at it. And over time, it could very well develop into a passion. So maybe use this to try to figure out your passion. Hopefully it helps. It's kind of helping me a little bit. I'm still kind of in the gray area of what I'm supposed to do, but I'm working at it just like you guys should too. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions or comments or videos you want to see in the future, I would love to hear them down below too. Thanks guys.